What's up, the Cinema Show Gun here, and depending on where you live, you may or may not know this by now. Actually, I'm hoping that most of you all don't know about this because chances are, if you do know about this, then it may be because you're caught in some type of emergency. But America is experiencing a major cyber attack right now that is targeting healthcare facilities across the United States. Not in every state, but several states have been affected. This has caused entire emergency rooms to shut down. Ambulances are being basically immobilized. They're being diverted. You know, they're not able to answer 911 calls. They're not able to figure out where to go. This is really serious. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not the first time that we've experienced something like that or like this. In fact, we're going through cyber attacks basically daily at this point. Many of them you will never hear about. Now, this comes on the heels of another cyber attack targeting health facilities where they stole tons of people's information. So some of you all may have been affected by that as well. But what's going on today is kind of scary. And I think that this is just this is just a sign of what is to come. I've told you all countless times before that I believe that we are already in the middle of World War Three. It's just that World War Three is not necessarily going to be fought on battlefields. Don't get me wrong. Of course, we have things going on over in Ukraine and it looks like Taiwan may be the next proxy war to pop off. But a lot of World War III is going to be fought in a different way. What's the point of sending soldiers? What's the point of shooting off missiles when you, from the comfort of your own home, can literally take down power grids? You could shut down whole entire hospitals across multiple states from your freaking laptop. That's what we're dealing with right now. But let's go ahead and figure out more about what's going on here. Make sure you all hit that thumbs up button. We are on the road to 100K. We are getting very close. If you wanna help me get there, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But let's see what's going on here. Cyber criminals attacked the computer systems of a California-based healthcare provider causing emergency rooms in multiple states to close and ambulance services to be redirected. The ransomware attack happened at Prospect Medical Holdings of Los Angeles, which has hospitals and clinics in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Texas. Prospect Medical is working on resolving the issue, the company said in a statement on Friday. Prospect Medical Holdings, Inc. recently experienced a data security incident that has, dis that has disrupted all our operations, the company said in a statement. Upon learning of this, we took our systems offline to protect them and launched an investigation with the help of third-party cybersecurity specialists. While our investigation continues, we are focused on addressing the pressing needs of our patients as we work diligently to return to normal operations as quickly as possible. Officials with the Pennsylvania Association of Staff Nurses and Allied Professionals, the Nurses Union at Springfield-based Crozer Chester Medical System, say the hospital has reverted to a paper system because most of the computers are offline. The computers are unlikely to be back online until next week, according to the labor group. The data breach forced the emergency departments Manchester Memorial and Rockville General in Connecticut to close on Thursday. Hospital officials there diverted patients to nearby medical centers. All, pro all prospect medical owned healthcare facilities are experiencing IT complications and many services 
including elective surgeries and urgent care, has been closed, the company posted on its website. Our computer systems are down, with the outage affecting all Waterbury health inpatient and outpatient operations. Prospect Medical Hospital, Hospital in Waterbury, Connecticut posted on its Facebook page, we are in the process of reevaluating our downtime capabilities and may reschedule some appointments affecting affected patients will be contacted. In Pennsylvania, the attack affected services at facilities including the Crozer Chester Medical Center and Upland Taylor Hospital in Ridley Park, Delaware County Memorial Hospital in Drexel Hill, and Springfield Hospital in Springfield. So we have multiple hospitals that basically just had to shut down. Imagine you're suffering from a medical emergency. You get rushed to the nearest hospital and that hospital can't take you because they're going through a cyber attack. And now they got to send you to a hospital that's what, 30, 45 minutes, an hour down the road? The reality is, People will lose their lives because of things like this. And even though this is kind of a big cyber attack, it's not, how can I explain it? This is big when you compare it to some of the cyber attacks that we're going through on a daily basis. But this is nowhere near as bad as this could get. I want you all to understand that there's a possibility that the electricity all across America just gets cut, cut off. We could go months, weeks before they're able to reestablish a power grid. A lot of the U.S.'s infrastructure, it's not protected by much. Literal teenagers are able to hack into some of our most top secret military programs and stuff of that nature. When it comes to World War III, like I was talking about earlier, I think stuff like this is what we're going to start witnessing more and more. And in many ways, our enemies could attack our country like this without ever having to bear like the sole responsibility. You know what I mean? Like they could secretly attack us without attacking us. And there's a certain level of deniability that could be there. You know, like if China today shoots a missile to America, they can't deny that they did that. You know, they're caught red handed. We know that you shot a missile at America. If they attack us with cyber attacks, sure, we could think it's China. Sure, maybe we think we could even prove it's China. But there's still that certain level, that certain layer of deniability that it could be anyone. You know what I mean? Like, they could do stuff like this without there being a trail that leads directly back to any government across the world. A government could go hire a 14-year-old Fortnite player and say, hey, we're going to give you this amount of money. We need you to hack in and do something like this. And that kid will take down some hospitals in America and we'll never figure out who did it. And if we did, they'll probably be disposed of anyway. So this is kind of scary. But I'm hoping that none of you all are affected. But seeing as there are several hospitals across several states that are affected, chances are some of the people watching this video may be affected by the cyber attack and you might not even know it yet. So if you do live in these areas that I mentioned, you might want to check in on things because I know that people are getting their information stolen out of these hospitals from these cyber attacks and various other things like that. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.